To the hostility on the U.S. campaign trail, Donald Trump rallied in Michigan last night where he renewed his attack on Governor Gretchen Whitmer. The Democrat has been a frequent target over her state's COVID-19 restrictions. Earlier this month, there was a foiled plot to kidnap the governor. So Trump encouraging calls to lock Whitmer up are concerning. As Jennifer Johnson reports, the Trump campaign says the president was just having fun. Lock them all up. A familiar battle cry at a Trump rally in Battleground, Michigan. But this time the target was Governor Gretchen Whitmer, not 2016 opponent Hillary Clinton. U.S. President Donald Trump still stoking fury against Whitmer 10 days after the FBI arrested 13 people, including members of a militia group, in a plot to allegedly kidnap and possibly kill her. I guess uh, they said she was threatened, right? She said she was threatened. And she blamed me. The president has mocked Whitmer for months over partially closing her state to prevent the spread of COVID-19. The governor says the president is inciting domestic terrorism. It is wrong. It's got to end. It is dangerous, not just for me and my family, but for public servants everywhere who are doing their jobs and trying to protect their fellow Americans. Trump's senior campaign advisor and daughter-in-law is defending his rhetoric. He was having fun at a Trump rally. Of course, he wasn't encouraging people to mm -hmm. threaten this woman. That's ridiculous. Whitmer's policy to stop COVID-19 have the state so divided she has banned the right to openly carry guns at polling places on Election Day. You got to get your governor to open up your state, okay? New cases of COVID-19 in Michigan are rising by over 2,000 a day. Almost every other U.S. state is also showing rapid increases in cases and hospitalizations. On the campaign trail, Democratic presidential candidate Joe Biden won't let voters forget who's responsible for the pandemic. My grandfather would say, this guy's gone around the bend if he thinks we turn the corner. Turn the corner. Things are getting worse. He continues to lie to us about the circumstances. Both candidates with completely different views on how America can recover from the pandemic as voters decide in just over two weeks which direction they want the country to go. Jennifer Johnson, Global News, Washington. The U.S. election may be one of the most acrimonious in recent history, but there's something shared by supporters of both campaigns interest. According to a recent poll, there's almost no difference in how much Democrats and Republicans are following the campaign. Whether they're pulling for Joe Biden or Donald Trump, a majority say they're more interested in politics now than in 2016. Mike Armstrong is in Pennsylvania tonight looking at why voters are so engaged. One sign. If I could just have you guys fill out the form over here. To watch her work, you'd assume she's an old pro. But as it turns out, Melissa Lee Boutillier says she's never gotten involved in politics until this election, and she's gone all in. I'm out every day. <laughs> yeah. How many days a week? Uh, five, six, you know, and even at home, I'm still doing it. There is a feeling in this election that there's a lot on the line. On Main Street in downtown Scranton, the Trump office is just two doors down from the Biden office at both People say this election is different. I, I would say that I'm paying more attention to this election than the past. I think this one is probably, to me, is more important than any elections that I ever, you know, was involved in. A recent Pew poll found 78% of Democrats say they're following the campaign quite a lot. Republicans were just as engaged at 77%. What may have people so interested is that many don't just prefer their candidate, they're also nervous about what happens if the other side wins, even scared. Well, the uh, reason being is that there are people that want to change the way America functions. I mean, they, they want to turn our country into a socialist country. So how does this campaign compare to others? Well, according to Pew, in the 2000 election, 50% of registered voters felt it really matters who wins. Five elections later, that number has ballooned to 83%. It doesn't surprise me at all. No. I think people feel passionately most one way or another. Most people are paying attention this time. Yeah. But the red wave will crush it. Now, the Trump campaign is focused hard on keeping its base motivated, while the Biden campaign is having to fight complacency. Being ahead in the polls doesn't mean anything if your supporters don't show up and vote. And put a couple signs right there. It may not be an issue that wins this election, but engagement. Mike Armstrong, Global News. Scranton, Pennsylvania.